Well, well, what's going on everyone? RC84 here and like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, here on the RC Workstation, I have my new RC boat stand slash transporter for my newest RC boat, which is the Traxxas M41 wide body catamaran and I absolutely love this boat. It is a super fast boat, super cool and everything. But I wanted to come up with a way of transporting this boat to and from the water and from the house and everything. And I came up with this neat little design. This is made out of completely PVC plastic uh, piping that you can get at any plumbing store or hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, so on. You know, wherever plumbing supplies are sold, you can get this, uh, these, uh, the fittings and the piping for it. Now, like I said, everything's been done in half inch to the piping from the fittings, and I'm gonna go over the fittings for you guys. So if you wanna build one of these things, they're fairly easy to do. Uh, it takes no more than probably about maybe an hour to two hours to do, uh, you know, with the gluing and cutting out and everything. And of course, it's not done right now. I, I wanna, really wanna go back and like paint it, and you can do that with the, uh, with the piping you can paint it whatever color you want just by using some regular spray paint but uh, let's talk about what it's all done here so I got uh, a bunch of fittings here to uh, to make up the stand all right so uh, I have a total of let's see for the 90s which are these right here these are called 90s just in case anybody wants to know that uh, these are 90s so I got 190 290 3 down here 4 five, six, over here on the other side, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, nineties. I got a total of T's, which are these right here, half inch T's, I got one there, one over there to make the rail so I can actually pick this up and carry the boat with. Down here I have, uh, one cross, two cross, three cross, and four cross is what they're called. They're called cross. And uh, so, yeah. And then, of course, the half inch piping right here. All right. And then uh, I went back and got some of this rubberized uh, installation. That way, I can set the boat on top of it and have a nice soft uh, uh, area for the boat to to rest on there and you know of course it's rubber so it's not really going to move around so much you know, it really doesn't move at all <laughs> but uh yeah now to uh to build one of these is fairly easy like i said it only takes about an hour to two hours you know once you got you know a good platform on uh what to do or what you want to do with it uh it's fairly easy to do uh, cost for cost wise on it you're looking probably around forty to fifty dollars it really depends on how much piping you need how many fittings you need uh, I have a total of about forty one dollars in the build of it so uh, yeah so uh, you just need a little time and uh, you know some tools and stuff like that to glue to glue the fittings together and you're gonna need a pair of these uh, pipe cutters right there. Uh, you can get those at any of your local hardware store. You can also get uh, them at uh, Harbor Freight, which is where I got these. Uh, so yeah, they work out great for that. So uh, let me put the camera on the tripod and I'll show you exactly how this goes. So I'm gonna put it over here and lock it down in place. Da, da, da. All right, so I'll show you exactly what you do. Fairly easy, my friends. Take boat so like this, and uh, of course you can slide it in if you want. Anyway, but I have where I can just take it out like that and set it down like so. And all I can do now is just pick it up, and I can carry it with me. Now you're probably saying, "Well, what about the sides? There's no protection here." Usually, what I do on this part is I have like a, a couple of bungee cords wrapped around the boat to kind of hold it in place, but uh, I carried it out one day for the first time and it did awesome. As long as I kept it kind of leveled and stuff like that, I had no problem with it. But uh, yeah, but, uh, as you can see, works out pretty great. That way you can just carry it along with you, like so. You see, pretty awesome idea. 
come up with. That way you can carry it along with you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, I hope that you guys like my little invention I made here. I also did one for the uh, FTO 11 RC boat that I have right over there that I keep looking at. <laughs> but, yeah. So, uh, my stand that came with it, that's the display span, uh, st display stand. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. But, pretty awesome, I think. It's a great idea. Very uh, creative, I think. <laughs> but, yeah. All right. Well, my friends, that's all I wanted to show you in this, uh, in this video here. That's something I did over this weekend. And uh, it's a lot of fun building it. <laughs> I changed it up a few times. Uh, now, how much piping I used, uh, that's probably somebody you know, is going to ask that question. I bought uh, 20 foot of piping. And uh, I know it doesn't look like 20 foot of piping here, actually. Uh, it looks a lot smaller piping. But I used uh, right about 20 foot of piping. After doing a little bit of cutting and adjusting here and there, I, I used up the whole 20, uh, 20 foot there. But uh, overall, it came out pretty good. Uh, if you guys want to build one, hey, please do. And hey, share me your picture. Let me see what you built. Uh, you can do that by... Uh, send it to me. <laughs> uh, I'll uh, include my email address down below so let me see your picture of what you did for your RC boat stand. Uh, I would really, really like to see what kind of crazy ideas y'all came up with. Alright my friends, well thank you for watching and I will see y'all in the next upcoming video. See y'all later.